But tell us how you got into cloud computing then, because obviously you had that experience with the whole COVID policies, getting out of school, not mm-hmm. getting a job or getting your the job that you had lined up retracted. Mm-hmm. So how did you like rigmarole your way into cloud cloud, cloud computing? computing. Um, uh, that and only become a bigger boy. That was a that was a different thing. But what I would say before I start then uh, is what I would say is always bet on yourself. Don't be scared to try new things. Like mm-hmm. And not like new things. Don't don't work. feel like you're ever stuck. Don't feel yeah, like yeah. ever stuck. And don't yeah. feel like you know. Always bet on yourself. Like I've grown, yeah. I've grown um marijuana before. You so grow that shit. I've grown that shit before. It was because that was after I left Berkeley, and the way I, my mindset was then was California is a whole vibe. It's a more, it's a free spirited. Sun is out twenty four seven. That was where I felt like I know. After school, I did no job. I was just growing it just for my own research purposes. Mm-hmm. I learned about, I learned a lot from doing that. Like you can start something from nothing. But going in into cloud engineering, I'd gotten a job with this civil engineering company, yeah. February 2021. You know, boys had been applying, applying, applying from like November, December, January, even past November itself, like October. Because... Yeah. I, I need to find a job, but COVID, like those COVID policies were strict, bro. Like zero job, no job mm-hmm. for you, zero budget. And I'm like, how far? Like, give your boy something, but I feel like if you put in work, you will find something. Like, don't just mm-hmm. open yourself. Don't just come and be like, oh, nobody's hiring. Come and chill. Come don't, and don't give up because don't of give up. <laughs> giving up is 100% failure at that point. 100% failure. Like, even if you, if the rejections will be there, companies will come and say, no, 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 no. Like, you come and apply, like, damn, like, it's not my. Like, am, am I not good in. Uh, <laughs> am I not honestly, good? I got used to s- no. <laughs> get used to s- get used to no. That's what I get advise you. Know. Get used to no. And the, with the way I see it now, is like, there'll be 70% no's, but there'll be 30%, there'll be a 30% yes factor in like when, when you apply. So basically, I got my first civil engineering job. Was paying, uh, getting paid sixty eight k out of college. Um, it was good because for that same position, my friends are getting paid sixty three, sixty five. They sold me on the basis of we are a family. We, you know, and we care about our people. Yeah, we care about people, and it's a small owned company. But they, you know, with the money they were paying me, they paid me to shut my mouth up and just work. And I was paid was good money sixty eight. Yeah. Looking back then. I, I worked and they promised me remote because COVID was still going on then. But come and find out that I was the only one, like one of the only ones still going to office. I was like, is it because I'm the only black person, like the only black boy? Yeah, but I didn't play the race card. I don't play the mm-hmm. race card. I'm a, you know, I keep it professional, but it's like you. Yeah, we Nigerian people, we hardly play that race card. We were just yeah. like, anywhere you want to throw us, so we'll throw you, we'll eat that, we'll walk. We we'll walk. <laughs> like you start noticing those. Tricks. like I'm Sus- like, the only one suspect situation like jackpot like i'm coming into office like monday to friday and but you've given me like the whole desktop setup and and you've promised when the prom guy peter when i tell you they, sh- they, they will shake your hand they'll say you know most of our employees are working from home so you too peter you know as a young engineer you get to work from home you don't give you desktop though and you brand new monitor work laptop yeah you'll be like oh you'll be you know some days you get to work from home but they're like um coming monday coming tuesday coming wednesday coming thursday coming friday but it's like okay you can do that for the first three four weeks first two months if you have it in you have it in you but after a while the five days a week gets tiring on your body so it's like and in during my grad school we won't we won't look at the four days a week compared to the five days a week the four days a week mm-hmm. is more efficient but that's mm-hmm. like I mean, I don't really yeah, there there have been studies on it, Tristan. Yeah, because like, so if you really think about it, there's, I mean, for me, kind of there's there's sometimes lag between certain projects and stuff like that. I think it's a lot. Is you're a lot more fast fast paced when you know you have a limited amount of time to get something done. Yeah, if that makes sense. And you also like get more rest time too. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know. I feel like that helps, but I don't know. Rest does help, bro. like rest is important. That's what is important. Now, if you want to work out, you have to at least rest small. Mm-hmm. But basically, they gave me this whole. Sh- they gave me the whole setup, and I s- found myself coming in Monday, Monday to Friday, and I told them like, "Hey, I can't. I I literally can't do this." Or well, that was February, March, April, May, all the way through summer, August. Then by 
September, I'm already calculating this. Like, man, this is this is wearing my body out. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So every time I got paid, uh-huh. I would save like one one thousand dollars. I would save eight hundred dollars to my emergency funds because mm-hmm. I'm already. I was already thinking of a game plan. Like game plan. Mm-hmm. Game plan. Like, I mean, you see, you see, where I'll come into work, I'll clock in, but my mind, my mind, my mind is not at work. I'm ready thinking but with the same thing about opportunity you know how we go jump me. ship exactly I'm about to jump ship completely different ship but no one told me about the ship that i'm about to jump into no one is like hey you're about to, if you jump you're about to you might land inside the water you might land, inside, <laughs> you might land in another ship just, so just make uh-huh. sure you have some money just make sure you have emergency funds saved up mm-hmm. so like october november i quit in november and with the way they do it in college, they teach you how to write a resume. They teach you how to write all this career letter. all letters, all that thing, yeah. But they never teach you how to resign a job or how to quit a job or how to mm. quit two weeks' notice. So I found myself, like, looking up on Google, like, how do you write a two weeks' resignation letter? Because it's time to go. Like, I can't come, yeah. you know, um, they are, they are not working with me, basically. And I turned in my first two weeks' resignation letter. That's when, that's when their highs, like, shown they were like wow he's about to go like this black boy can speak up for himself <laughs> right, let's come and work with him but they they offered me part-time and then i was like but it couldn't work because of the pto and the health benefits well mm-hmm. the system couldn't work but mm-hmm. i added in another two weeks resignation letter and they were trying to let me go on the sports like that day I'm like, how far? Is it not two weeks resignation? Like, oh, yeah. they wanted to fire you that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-uh. yeah. They didn't want to pay you the, nah, the, the that's next two weeks. Company, <laughs> that's a sketchy <laughs> company. What the heck? Yeah, but I'm like, maybe that's how they do it in the professional world. You no, know, two no. Weeks. Mine, mine, I've told mine for months that I'm leaving for college. And they are fine. I'm, I'm still working, obviously. But yeah. it depends on the company you work for, honestly. That's the way I think of it. Yeah, it's different if you're like, oh, you're leaving for school compared to like, you are leaving them. You're like, resigning. Forget, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, forget you guys. I'm like, I'm, you're about to jump ship, basically. Mm-hmm. I know how loyalty works with a company. Like, you know, hey, you see them every day and now it's time to not see them every day. Yeah. So, <laughs> basically, I was, I handed in my two weeks resignation. Well, that was like, you know, do you want to, it was on Wednesday. I convinced my manager, like, you know, I was working on designing a bridge with one of my supervisors. I'm like, let me at least finish that because I was actually learning the how to design the bridge what how you do it mm. if anything for life let me just gather this one so on friday i just left the job but before then smuddy told me about aws cloud engineering i'm like what's this p what's this p man and before i if i quit my job i was already looking into it i was Can i just say that we've been saying p long before who was this guy that just released a song about P? Is it gone or who? Pushing P. <laughs> pushing P. Uh, pushing P. I just want to say that Nigerians have been saying P long before that. Like, <laughs> but anyway, just got here. So with the old P, man, I just like quit my job, was already studying, and I... So you, at that point, you had decided that, oh, you're going to go into like cloud, cloud engineering and things like that? Yes. Because I saved up, I saved up 4K, 5K, and then I had money in crypto by then. Small, small money in crypto, but that was minus the 4K I saved up. But the way, I, the way I see my, the way I planned it was like at least I would still have money. I had, it, I banked on my on it for three months. Okay. On three months, you can basically, you know, get the certification and get it done. If you don't get it done, it's on you. Like I saw it was. But looking back, it was it was not like that. It was more of a step by step, you know. Like I don't know how to describe it, man. You just have to mm-hmm. on yourself, like literally bet on yourself that you get it done. Once I quit my job, I was already studying about, you know, I was getting the certification, got the first step in December, and that was, you know, that was around all this Thanksgiving, Christmas time, and mm-hmm. my birthday and something about me when i'm trying to do something i don't like taking breaks i don't like you know taking time off because i feel like that distracts me i basically like to do it like one track one time get it done over with in january that was that was talk, talking about fa- failure i failed my first like the first time i tried to take the associate exam failed yeah. it uh Ooh. but then i'm like man you, you can't come on like tell me why you can't come and be down on yourself uh basically applied to like all this bunch of jobs and by the time they had started reaching back to me i sat back down to like retake the 
certification class uh, or the certification exam and I passed. So by the time I was interviewing for jobs, I'd already had the certification in hand. Oh, nice. Mm. Was, now, what, what was the time frame between failing and passing? Was it like, is it like something that you can easily take again or is it something that you have to like literally go through a whole course so, again? It's more of a, yeah, you, you can take it again, you, but they give you a two week buffer. You know, they give oh, you yeah. two weeks before you can sign up to take it again on their website. But yeah. I, I took it like maybe four weeks in after the two weeks, then another two weeks, I relaxed because yeah. I was anxious. I'm like, oh, maybe I come and feel this pee, man. There's no going back. So let me just take my time. Like, take your time. I do it well, yeah. There are some times in life where you like, you know, you, are, you, you do something, but there are some times where you're like, let me take my time. Like, Slow down and do it well. Time, one track, one and done, you know. So it's just like uh, during that time, I just took my time. And then because I knew that by the time they'll start calling you back, hey, like, come and like, tell me about yourself. Come and get like, sit down for this interview or i've already had the certification in hand because it's different when you're applying trying to get something it's like trying to get a full-time job without a degree or like without mm -hmm. the masters. yeah you know, you know that the, you know in your heart that there's something you're lacking even if you can fake it that you can put the masters on your resume yeah like you really don't have it like that so mm -hmm. once you have it it's like it's different yeah, like, okay yeah. this is it this is it. So, but before then, I'd also track my mindset that you don't really like all that thing to is mental. You don't need to have it. You can fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I still put the certification on my resume. You know, I still put the uh, AWS Cloud Engineering Associate on my resume and I kept it pushing. So, but I kept applying to jobs and they were already calling me. So I was in the middle of interviews and taking the exam. So, but once I took the exam, or like on a Tuesday, I passed this, man. I was so ginger, I was excited. Nothing could stop me. Then I was like, you know, man, it was a success. Like, kept on going. And before then, like, I had an interview with TikTok. It did not work. TikTok? I had an interview wow. with Western Union. It did not work. All because of, I was, oh, what was I doing? I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared. And mm -hmm. But with I calmed down. That was some part of my life. January and February, calm down. You know, figured myself out and got like my first offer with uh, J.P. Morgan, and it was like I kept interviewing like that. I I, I had an interview with like EA Sports, Amazon yeah. Ring, and Salesforce. Although those people are foolish people, they haven't gotten back to me yet. But <laughs> I was just saying I didn't get them. But it's just like, at least I have like one offer and that's enough to keep me going. But...